again. My name is Alan. This is a Video Games Monthly unboxing. If you are not familiar with the service, it's a subscription. Retro video games are sent to you every month. You pick which systems you want to receive games for. Tell them what games you already have so they don't send you doubles. I have this month the four up, so I should have four games in here unless they threw in an extra one, which they sometimes will do. I currently signed up for just five systems, the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, and Game Boy Advance, but they have about 20 different systems you can sign up for. We've got the box, videogamesmonthly.com. Got my cat. Alright, let's see what I got this month. There's something on top here. Uh, this is the uh, one-up card they were giving out. I think there were 300 given out this month. Um, one of the lucky recipients. This is supposed to help you clean your games that are pretty much unplayable. So I've got one that I can test this on. That would be awesome. Thank you. And I got a couple cards on top here as well. Let's see what we got. So this is your... VideoGamesMonthly.com, thanks for subscribing, make sure you update your library so you don't get duplicates. I also appear to have gotten, oh, okay, no, I thought this was a one-up, this is an, uh, an advertisement for the one-up card, Let's see any, uh, no promo code or anything, but that's pretty cool, alright, so let's see, so I should have four in here, ooh, this feels like a sealed game. That's pretty cool. It's oh, Tony Hawk's American Skateland for Game Boy Advance. It's sealed in box. That's pretty cool. I, I, think I've, I don't think I've ever had a Game Boy Advance game sealed in box, so I'll probably unseal that and play it. Like I say about all the other ones. All right. Let's see, the next game is Nintendo 64, Star Wars: Shadows of the Empire. Never played this one before, but I'll give it a shot. I'm not really familiar with what it is, but it looks pretty cool. And it's in really good condition, too, so that's always nice. Alright, let's see what we got next. This feels like a Genesis game. Oh, this is on a wish list item. I've uh, been looking for this one, too. It's Beavis and Butthead on Genesis. I remember playing this as a kid, and you know. I don't know if it'll be as funny as an adult, but I, I really, I really love this show, so this will be pretty cool. All right, and then I should have one left in here. Let's see what we got. This feels like a Nintendo. It is all right. Oh, awesome! Another wish list item. This is actually one of my higher up wish list items here. Not price wise, but game wise, I haven't really seen a lot of these ever in the stores. The Simpsons Bartman meets Radioactive Man. And uh, it's, a little, it's been well loved, but it's still in pretty decent condition, so that's awesome. That's two out of four on the wish list. And they counted correctly this month, so I don't have anything else, but that's pretty cool. Just to recap, I got Tony Hawk's American Skateland on, Amer on Game Boy Advance, sealed, still in the box, and really no dents or anything like that either. It's pretty much perfect condition. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. I know I've heard of it, and I'm sure it's a great game. I just never played it before, but that's awesome. Beavis and Butthead on Sega Genesis. And Bartman meets Radioactive Man on Nintendo. I'm really happy with this box. This is actually pretty cool. Um, I'd say that was definitely worth the money, and I'll see you guys next month.